surround yourself around positive people. People that inspire you. The same people that have the same ambitions as you. You want to put yourself in situations that's going to challenge you. Something that's going to help you grow. Start going out. Stop shutting everybody down. <laughs> now, nah, sis, that ain't nobody but the devil. We are in a whole nother year. It's, it's time to move on. Get your life together. Move on and don't look back. Period. Hey, what's up, beauties? Welcome back to my channel. It's your girl, J. Elise, and I am back with another video. And as you all can tell from the title, this will be a video on about how to glow up. It's a new year, 2021. 2020 was a mess, and it pretty much affected everybody in the entire world. So, with this video here, I'm pretty much going to show you guys how to glow up and elevate yourself and just pretty much detox your life. So, if you guys are interested into hearing what I have to say, then just keep on watching. Now, I don't know if you guys remember, for those who watched my video um, a few months ago, I think it was around in October where I was pretty much decluttering my life. I had so much going on. Like I said, I had a lot of stuff that I was doing and I had everything that I wanted, but I just... I was sad I wasn't really happy I don't know what was going on and it, it was just so much that was going on within my life so at that time I said I needed to just kind of step back take a break and just go on a hiatus and it's just just reflect on a lot of things and during that time I actually had wrote down some stuff and just to detox my life and it was just a lot going on so I just had to go sit back and just self reflect which you know you gotta kind of remove yourself from a lot of things just, just take a step back and reflect on things that's going on. So I wrote a few topics down to try to keep me from going on too long about a topic. I have everything written down in my notes and it's pretty much structured. And I actually had read it in my iPad, which you know, it kind of transferred over to my phone. So I am going to be reading. So if you guys do see me looking down, this is basically what I'm going to be talking about. And we're going to make everything just pretty much straight to the point. I have five topics to tell you guys about how to level up and detox your life. So starting with the first thing with detoxing your life, you want to pray and you want to ask God to remove the toxic people and things from your life. A lot of people are scared to do this because they are afraid that God will remove somebody that they don't want to be removed. And like I am a Christian, so you guys will hear me talking about God, but a lot of people are scared to ask for that you want to detox your life if you have this person that's pretty much bringing a side of you out that you really not trying to be that person anymore then you need to remove them from your life you need to remove everything from your life remove the pictures remove the emails remove the text messages you want to remove anything that reminds you from your past something that you're trying to move on from whether it's your family members your friends your boyfriend your girlfriend just toxic people period any type of bad relationship you want to cut that off. We're not going to bring none of that into 2021. And then as far as detoxing your life as well, it go along with just removing certain things out your life. Like emails. I have over 5,000 emails. Like your, your promotion emails. Every time you shop online, you know, you sign up, you get those emails. Remove all of that out your life. Remove all of that from your email. Go and unsubscribe for all of that. Kind of narrow everything down. Clean out your text messages. Clean out your phone. Like all of your pictures and everything and just clean up your life. I'm telling y'all, it will be much better. The last thing you need is for when you finally move on, you got your life together, you healthy, everything looking right, booty right, <laughs> everything right, and then you have this one person trying to just make their way back on into your life because you got it going on and everything. Uh-uh, <laughs> nah, sis, that ain't nobody but the devil. That ain't nobody but the devil. Move on and don't look back, period. Now the next thing that you want to do to kind of level up your life and detox your life and everything is to change your mindset. I cannot stress this enough. Mindset is everything. You want to have a positive mindset. I don't care what goes wrong. Just think, look at the good out of every situation. You just want to speak positive about everything. Look at some affirmations. Look at some affirmations, write some affirmations down that you will want to look at every day that will just keep you in that positive mood. And you also want to surround yourself around positive people. Surround yourself around people that you are trying to be. People that inspire you. The same people that have the same ambitions as you, that have that same drive of you. If you sitting here surrounding yourself around people that just want to be couch potatoes, guess what baby? That's going to slowly become you. Your drive is going to slowly go down. And when you look up, everything, everything is gone. Like everything is gone. Surround yourself around people that's like you, like-minded people. Surround yourself around people that can teach you. You trying to do this and you trying to do that, but the person, the people that you're surrounding yourself around don't know a lick about what's going on. 
that's going to slowly become you that's going to slowly become you you want to learn you want to learn from people people that you look up to change your way of thinking instead of saying oh i can't do this i can't do that this always fails look at your failures as lessons everything that i have done i look at the positive side of everything i'm not going to get upset i mean it's it's human nature to get upset but once you get that mindset to where when i tell y'all I don't let anything upset me I don't let anything upset me I just move on and keep it pushing because by me being upset what, what is that gonna do is that gonna change the situation no it's not gonna change the situation it's you by being mad by being upset it's not gonna change anything but at the end of the day it's easier to adapt to a new mindset when you surround yourself around people that have already done what you want now topic number three is creating new habits now this one is a new one for me. I did just recently purchase a book from Amazon, which the video is not sponsored and I will show you guys that at the end of the video, but creating new habits. When trying to level up, start documenting your journey, whether you're doing daily, weekly, monthly goals, and make sure you write down your achievements. And y'all know I am really big on journaling. Y'all know I will be having my journaling business coming out really soon, a unique custom design. So if you ain't following your girl over on IG, Make sure you follow me over on Unique Custom Designs LLC, but document your journey. When you start meeting your small goals, it's going to motivate you to com continue to move up the ladder. That's why you want to make, first of all, you want to make goals that's achievable. You want to make goals that's achievable and realistic. Don't sit here and make no unrealistic goals, something that you know you cannot do within this time frame. That's what you don't want to do. So start just documenting your journey, writing down things that you want to do to create that new habit. Something as simple as waking up a little bit earlier. Wake up 30 minutes earlier than what you normally do. Get yourself together. Put on a little makeup, put on a little lip gloss, brush your hair, you know, do your eyebrows. Just look good. Get yourself together. Even though if you're not really going anywhere, sometimes it just takes for you to get out the bed and just get yourself together. Your day will be a lot more productive because y'all know my motto. When you look good, you feel good. And the saying is so true. I woke up at like 7, 8 o'clock this morning. I got myself together. I was together by 9.30. I mean, I have a whole fit on, hair done, makeup done, nails been done. Like, I feel so good. And I'm also in the middle of vlogging and I'm getting two videos done. So, like I said, just start creating those habits by waking up early. Like I said, even if it's 30 minutes earlier, start doing that. And another habit that I am trying to work on, which I think a lot of people have this problem, is waking up in the morning and grabbing your phone and getting on social media. Instead of hopping on social media, grab your journal. Write down what you plan on doing for the day. Write down what you plan on cooking for the day. Write down some thoughts about something that you thought about. Maybe you dreamed about something. Maybe you went to sleep thinking about something. Write down your thoughts. Or they have plenty of apps. They have Bible apps. They have um, affirmation apps. Just something that you can do in the morning. That's, that'll kind of take you away from just jumping on social media. Because social media can really get in your heads and have you thinking things that you shouldn't even be thinking. Like, I'm not going to go too deep into that. But just by starting that little habit right there, by just not hopping on social media in the morning, it will change a lot. Tip number four is to get out of your comfort zone. Now, everybody know this. You cannot grow when you're comfortable. You want to put yourself in situations that's going to challenge you, something that's going to help you grow. Something as simple as, I will use myself for example, like... <laughs> I am such an old lady, y'all. When I say my life is so structured and planned out to the T and I don't want nothing to interfere with it. So me. Pretty much you all know that I do not like getting out at night. I hate driving at night. Whatever I need to get done, it has to be done by 4 o'clock. I'm not driving nowhere. This, if it's something that's 10 minutes away from me, I'm not going anywhere. This year, I've decided to, I need to step out of my comfort zone. I need to start venturing out to other places, new places. Take that little extra 15 minutes to go to this mall over here instead of always trying to go to this mall. Just something as simple as that, just stepping out of my comfort zone. Start going out. Stop shutting everybody down because I am such an introvert and I like to be by myself. And at the same time, I do like to go out and enjoy myself, but... I need, to, I need to change that. I need to change it and start getting out. I need to start mingling. Especially with me having a business, I need to get out and start, start promoting myself. Like, ain't nobody else is going to do it. So that's something that I have to do to learn to step out of my comfort zone. Another thing, I am not a tennis shoe person. I do not wear tennis shoes. So something that I told myself this year, 
I'm going to start wearing more tennis shoes because when it comes to a time to where it's time for me to go somewhere and I don't, I can't wear boots, I can't wear flats, I can't wear heels or anything, I need tennis shoes, I don't have it. So I am starting to buy myself more tennis shoes and I'm starting to dress a little bit more comfy, which you would think with the whole pandemic that's going on that I would have been doing that, but no. So I'm trying to step out of my comfort zone and start wearing a little bit more tennis shoes. I'm trying to learn a new language. I took Spanish class in high school, but it asked me, do I remember any of that stuff? Y'all know how long ago that was when I was in school? I graduated in 07. Honey, I don't remember anything but hola. 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 That's all I remember. So that's something new that I do want to start learning this year is learning Spanish. I want to get out. I want to start traveling. There is so much that you can do to step out of your comfort zone. Like I said, something is just small as something that I said. You don't have to make a big leap. But just slowly start stepping out of your comfort zone. If you don't eat onions, I never used to eat onions. Guess what? I cook with onions now and I actually like the flavor. I'm getting older. I need to stop being such a picky eater and eating like a child. <laughs> but it's just something as simple as that. Get out of your comfort zone because you cannot grow in comfortability. And the last topic that I want to speak on is to learn and apply. Out of all these topics that I told you guys, you want to read, read self-help books. I have been reading so many books and a lot of you guys have been knowing if you all have been following me for some time and watching my vlogs. The very first book when I had put in my mind that I wanted to change, the very first book that I read was Relationship Goals. Now a lot of you all know Pastor Michael Ty. He set that book out and that is a bestseller. I read that book and it's not just about relationships as far as wife, husband, boyfriend, girlfriend. This is relationships within your family, your friends, and just, just people, period. It's it's a really good book and it actually started me on my journey to leveling up and the way I think like it's if you all haven't read that book make sure you all go read it like I say anything that I'm saying is not sponsored this is from my personal experience and this is the book that I was talking about creating new habits it's atomic habits now I just started reading so I can't give you guys too much information about it. but so far what I have read it is really good like I said just creating new habits will change your life. Take online courses. There are so many free online courses that you can take to leveling up if you want to learn a skill like if there's a lot of free resources out there that can help you to level up your life. Once you start reading these things like I said you learn it and then you want to apply it. Start applying little things to your life. So say if I read something, I need to start forgiving people. I need to start forgiving people. And that's something that a lot of people deal with as far as forgiving. A lot of people have hurt within them. Let the hurt go. Just let the hurt go. And the first thing that you can do for yourself is to forgive that person. Forgive that person. I don't care what they have done to you. Just forgive that person. We are in a whole nother year. It's, it's time to move on. Get your life together. There are a lot of coaching webinars. Like I said, and the list goes on and on. There is so much that you can do to apply these new skills to your life. Now, and the last topic that I wanted to speak about is just to overall elevate yourself. You want to elevate yourself and a lot of that goes within self-care. You have to take care of yourself first. If you don't take care of yourself, then how are you going to take care of anybody else? And a lot of people have this so wrong. Terms, oh, I put my kids before me, this, this, and that. Yeah, on a certain level. Yeah, as far as, oh, if my child needs this, and of course I'm going to put their needs before mine. But at the end of the day, you have to put yourself first and you have to take care of yourself first before anybody. Because if you're not healthy, then who's going to be there to take care of them? So you have to take care of yourself. Drink more water. Exercise. Meditate. I have this little um, channel that I put on YouTube. It has like the little meditation music. I light my candle. I put a cover on the floor. And I just sit and I relax. Have a clear mind. And all I just do, I just sit back and reflect on a lot of things. I reflect on a lot of things. I journal. I don't know how many times I'm going to tell y'all that journaling is so good for you. Spend time with God. Like set aside some time. This is something that I'm working on myself. Sit aside some time with him, even if it's just starting with 10 minutes out your day. We have 24 hours in a day, and you can't give God five minutes of your time. And I'm speaking to myself as well. It is like we all think that, oh, we have so much to do, and he's the one that's keeping us here. He's the one that's keeping us here. So put aside, like I said, baby steps. Five minutes, 10 minutes, 15, and just slowly move on from there. Take some vitamins. With this pandemic and everything that's going on, a lot of people have been trying to boost their immune system. Like, just take some vitamins, keep your immune system up, 
Take your daily vitamin. Take your women's vitamin. Whatever vitamin you need to take to get yourself together, take that vitamin, baby. Take it. And with all that being said, at the end of the day, you guys want to clear your heart. A lot of people have a bitter heart. And like all that bitterness, it shows. It definitely shows on the outside. Go into 2021, and you don't even, we're already in 2021, but you don't have to wait until the new year to try to change. You don't have to wait until the next day to try to change. Oh, I'll just do it on the first. No, start right now. If you want to make a change, then make a change at that moment that you want to make that change. Let all the hurt go. Forgive people. Move on. Leave the past in the past. Let that hurt go and move on, sis. You're going to be a lot better. You want to pray and ask God to remove toxic people from your life, whether it's your family members, your friends, or any other type of relationship. Pray that God remove those people from your life. You want to have a changed mindset. Start thinking positive. You want to create new habits. Start waking up 30 minutes earlier. Stop jumping on social media as soon as you wake up. Get out of your comfort zone. Put yourself in a situation that challenges you. It challenges you to level up. And the last thing was to simply learn and apply. There's so many self-help books out here. Everything that I learned, I am self-taught. I am self-taught. I get a lot of information from online. I get a lot of information from reading. It really works. And then to just overall elevate yourself. You have to take care of yourself. Your mind, your body, your soul. Clear your heart. Let go of the hurt. Whoever did this and did that to you, let it go. Forgive them. Let the hurt go. We are in a whole nother year. Please do not bring the past, your past troubles, your past bitterness. Don't bring any of that into the new year. Now with those six tips, I hope you guys take some of those tips and run with it and apply it to your life because it will help you become a better person. If you're trying to become a better person in 2021, apply some of those. Let me know down below which one are you are you currently working on. Like I said, for me, I'm currently trying to get out of my comfort zone and I'm trying to create new habits because I'm always constantly trying to level up my business. I have, I, I step away from my business. When I feel things are getting too much for me, I step away, I pull back and I reflect on what can I do. We're, we're never going to be satisfied. I'm just let y'all, we're never going to be satisfied because once you get this, I can sit here and say, oh, okay, I want to make 100K this year. But once you get to 100K, guess what you're going to want to do? You're going to want to elevate some more. So just take some of these skills and just apply it to your life and let me know, you know, what are you trying to do? Drop some comments down below which one is your topic that you are currently working on. But that's pretty much all that I have for you guys today. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I'm working on trying to bring some new girl talks to the channel. So let me know if you guys like this type of content. You all want me to do more sit down videos and just let me know what type of topics you all would like for me to talk about. But that's all that I have for you guys today. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you're not subscribed already, make sure you all hit that subscribe button. Give your girl a big thumbs up. And I'll see you guys in my next video.